Hello everybody! Today's video will show you how to upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11 on a desktop computer or laptop. We are going to consider two methods – for compatible devices and for computers which are not supported. All users of Windows 10 had the opportunity to upgrade to Windows 11 for free by the 5th of October 2021. However, while trying to update to the latest version of Windows, many users had to face a compatibility error saying this PC doesn't currently meet all the system requirements for Windows 11. This means that such computer doesn't satisfy the requirements necessary to complete the upgrade and support the new features as listed in Windows 11 hardware specifications. To find out if your computer is compatible with Windows 11, use the official Microsoft utility PC Health Check. You can download the latest version from the official website. Run PC Health Check. After installation, the utility window opens to give you a brief overview of your computer's condition. You'll be offered to check your PC for compatibility with the system requirements. Click Check Now. In a few seconds, you will see that your computer is fully compatible with Windows 11 or that your computer doesn't currently meet the system requirements for the upgrade. That is why I'm going to show you two ways of upgrading Windows 10 to Windows 11 for compatible and incompatible devices. If your device is compatible with Windows 11, do the following to upgrade. Follow the link in the description of this video to go to the special page at Microsoft official website. Download Windows 11 Installation Assistant. It will help us complete the upgrade. Open it. Accept the license agreement. After that, the Windows 11 download will start. To accommodate the files for Windows 11, your computer should have at least 9 GB of free space. The required files will be downloaded, prepared and installed automatically. When step 3 is complete, you'll be suggested to reboot your computer so that the installation can be continued. Restart the computer. For some time, the screen will remain black while your computer is working on the updates, and it may have to restart several times. After the final restart, you'll see the sign-in screen and when you log on, the operating system will be getting ready to start for the first time. When all updates are installed, you'll see Windows 11 Desktop. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog, you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Now it's time for the second method you may use if your computer doesn't meet the requirements for upgrade. There are many ways to do it, and some may work on your specific computer and some may not, so it all depends on many factors. Our team has selected two methods that work fine on all computers used for the testing and seemed the easiest and safest to use. Although the first method is not an official one, it still lets you upgrade to Windows 11 even if your computer is not compatible, as long as you use the officially provided tool – Windows 11 Installation Assistant. So here is how you do it. Run Windows 11 Installation Assistant in compatibility mode for Windows 7. To do that, right-click on the Installation Assistant file, select Properties, Compatibility, Check the box for the option Run this program in compatibility mode 4 and select Windows 7 from the list of available operating systems. 
click apply. Okay. After that, Windows 11 Installation Assistant will run without checking hardware compatibility of your computer. However, it doesn't mean that you are safe from any issues and additional checkups at some later time. The most amusing thing here is that we are actually using an official Microsoft tool. With all that, we remember that the company has declined all responsibility for any problems in trying to install Windows 11 to incompatible computers. For the second method, you'll need a third-party software tool which makes it absolutely unofficial. You are going to perform all these actions on your own responsibility. Nevertheless, it worked fine on all the computers involved in this test. To upgrade the operating system, you need to download Universal Media Creation Tool. With this utility, you'll be able to upgrade to Windows 11 without checking the computer for compatibility. To download Universal Media Creation Tool, visit the corresponding page on GitHub. Check the link below this video. Click Code and choose Download Zip. Extract the archive to any folder and run the file mediacreationtool.bat. As a result, you may see the system warning from smart screen. If it happened, click More Info and then Run Anyway. The PowerShell window appears with a list of Windows 10 versions, which can also be downloaded by using the Universal Media Creation Tool. In the MCT version window, choose the item 11, which stands for Windows 11. Another menu with a list of actions appears. To perform an automatic upgrade to Windows 11, choose the line Auto Setup. It will start Media Creation Tool and begin upgrading your operating system to Windows 11. The whole process is automatic, so in the meantime you can do whatever you need. The computer will restart several times while working on the updates. When the updates are complete, you can enjoy the freshly installed Windows 11. This was the method for upgrading to Windows 11 automatically with Universal Media Creation Tool. What is more, in the folder containing this tool there is a file that can disable checking your computer for compatibility with Windows 11. It removes another file with the name appraisers.dll and creates a registry branch that allows to install Windows 11 without TPM version 2. Open the folder MCT and select a file with the name skip tpm check on dynamic update version 1.cmd. Right-click on it and choose Run as administrator. After that, start Windows 11 installation system. It will upgrade the operating system and do it without checking your computer for compatibility. If you lost some files as a result of installing, reinstalling, updating, resetting Windows, you can bring them back with Hetman Partition Recovery. There is already a video about it in our channel. Find all the links in the description below this video. If you like this video, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. We'll be glad to answer any questions in comments. Thank you for watching and good luck!